Hi guys! So this week we're doing another DIY from Meg's Nursery Reveal. A lot of you left comments and asked for a video on how to do the metallic letters over Ryder's changing table, and today I'm going to show you how. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about creating beautiful things for my family on a budget. So here's what you're going to need to get started. Your paper mache letters, and you can order these online or get them at Joann's Fabric. They're about 2 to $3 a piece. Some black paint, some silver metallic paint, a paintbrush and a paint sponge, and some brads. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is paint each letter black. And I just have some plain black craft paint, and you're going to want to do a nice light coat on each letter. Don't forget to do the sides, the top, the bottom, and the insides of the letters. Um, you just wanna make sure you cover any part that you're gonna see when it's hanging on the wall. So we're all finished painting the letters black. It only needs one coat, so now we're gonna let it dry, which it dries very, very quickly. So by the time I get this mess off my hands and wash the paintbrush, we'll be ready for the silver. All right, our letters are dry, my hands are clean for the moment, and we're ready to start putting the silver on. Now, I like to use a sponge for this part rather than a brush. Um, it does a better job, I think, of creating that metallic look. I like to paint in kind of a crisscross back and forth motion. It gives it a little bit of texture and it helps create that zinc look or brushed aluminum finish. Can you put it on here? Oh, this is his first time painting. All right, so we're done with the silver. I love how heavy and metallic these look when in actuality they are light as a feather and super safe for over a crib or a changing table. So now we're ready for our final step, which is completely optional, but we're gonna attach these metal brads. This was a nice touch that Meg added and I think it just gives it more of a finished look. The brads aren't strong enough to poke through the paper mache on their own, so I'm using an X-Acto knife. You can also use a screwdriver just to make a small slit and then stick the brad in. All right, so we're totally done. I love the way these turned out. The brads just give it a really cool industrial look. And I actually saw these same letters, but they were zinc at Anthropology, and they were $98 each. These were really easy. They took less than an hour to make and cost a fraction of the price. And for those of you who share my gold obsession, um, I might have tried one with metallic gold paint, and I will have you know that it works just as well, and it looks so cute on the shelf of my office. All right, so whether you're a gold or a silver girl, these metallic letters are the perfect touch to any nursery. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next Friday. Bye. Oh, Lincoln. <laughs> 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 Lincoln, say bye-bye.